Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Saturday, January 26th, 2019 by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is, I take time to balance my physical and energetic fields. And that's a really good message for Sun in Aquarius to really keep in mind, <laughs> um, Keep in focus, keep in your consciousness, your energetic field, that vibratory nature uh, that you're always exuding, but also the physical. Don't forget the physical. And with the moon in the Libra, we get that energy of balance, but between moon and Libra and sun and Aquarius, you may be more in the, I'm going to do things and blah, 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 and blah, 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 blah. Like air is like, can be very flighty, like to this and on to this and on to this and not really sit down and take into account what's going on with the physical. One of the cards I have <laughs> is how I feel. <laughs> it's a thunderbolt in reverse, which is like the stuff that's happened, the stuff that you've gone through. And it may be that it's time to take a little moment, process that energy, receive the lessons from it, um, and allow your physical body, well, uh, spirit agrees, allow your physical body and your nervous system to catch up with what was. That being said, the moon in Libra is very social today. The moon in Libra is making all of the connections. <laughs> it is connecting to Jupiter, Mars, Venus, Pluto, Uranus, and even um, an in conjunct with Chiron energy before shifting into Scorpio late in the evening. 11.31 p.m. Pacific time shifts into Scorpio. So just thinking about it, the moon in Libra bringing that sense of balance is bringing it to all of these energies. Today, one of the best things you can do is stop and be receptive to the lessons that are trying to balance you. Really listen to your body. That lesson of finding that harmony within, find harmony within between your physical and energetic system. So first connection, moon connecting to Jupiter. This is at 16 degrees, that's seven energy. Oh, starting your day with a little bit of meditation might be the exact right point to set you moving in the right direction to help you connect in. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Help you connect in um, so that you are prepared to have the consciousness to bring about the balance. Next connection is Moon and Libra opposite Mars. Mars and Aries. And Mars and Aries, it may have that desire to do, to experience, to make manifest. Again, honor that passion, that drive within you, but not at the expense of your balance. There's a way to go about things that does not sap all of your energy. Be receptive to your yin. There is a kitten menacing the house right now. I don't know if you can hear it, but oh my goodness. So in case you did not get that message of the moon with Mars, the next connection is the moon with Venus. And this is at 20 degrees. So the energy is like, hey, take your time, nurture your yin, tune in, connect in. So so a really good time if you have a good girlfriend or a good um yin energy person in your life, somebody who's able to listen and provide compassion and understanding, especially if you are feeling out of balance, this might be a great time, a great day to reach out to that person so that they can help bring you back into balance. One of the cards I have, this is the celebration card, um, but as I'm seeing this card in these energies today is connecting to those who can, you know, bring sunshine to the rain. Oh, the next connection. And interestingly enough, most of these connections are happening in the morning and then the others are happening in the evening. So it's like part one of the day, part two of the day. The next connection is the moon square Pluto. Again, your drive may be throwing you off balance and it's really important to take the time to find your balance. That's one of the things I feel like the world really needs to shift. I was talking to a very close dear friend the other day and she was, you know, offered a job, but she had to agree to work 60 hours a week. And she's like, is this worth my health? <laughs> is this worth my life to make this money 
and but maybe not survive it. And I think we all need to ask ourselves that because a lot of us are so far out of balance. If you need caffeine or any other kind of stimulant to keep you going, um, then chances are your body's calling for a little bit more balance. And this is one of the systems, like I said, that's going to change. So just take... Even if you don't change right now, just take honest stock of where you're at and make that commitment to start making those shifts to a sustainable life for yourself, where you are in harmony, where you are in balance. Um, the moon is then going to connect to Chiron and Uranus. Chiron. Chiron is finishing up at this 28th degree. Again, there's a this 28 energy, it really connects with Libra because both of them have this theme of worth. And that's one of the things we've been working ourselves to death to prove our worthiness. And this is an opportunity to be like, oh wait, <laughs> I'm worthy without that. And release that karma that we've been taking on for lifetimes. I have to work harder and harder and harder and harder and harder to survive. No, it's time to undo that. <laughs> and time to find a different way of survival um, on this planet. Finally, moon, opposite Uranus. Oh, all this stuff may feel uncomfortable. Uh, somebody else was saying to me today how just sitting and being can feel so uncomfortable. Sometimes that is the work, to be still. So notice where things are uncomfortable for you and see where you can find your lack of harmony inside yourself of that. Whose voice is it that's saying you must be busy or you must do this thing? And see if you can shift that, if you can find the beauty, if you can find the joy in it, and if you can be receptive to any state you need to be in. So I will get more into Moon in Scorpio in tomorrow's scope. Besides that, the better it gets, the better it gets. There is enough love in the world for you. And what's the other one? You have the power. <laughs> Namaste.